in Southwest Florida, if you see me with a couple of pounds on me, that's because I've been eating all that Chef Michelle food. She, she, she cooks sometimes and she posts it on Facebook. Join, go to her website and like her there as well. Uh, I think it's, uh, and, uh, and uh, she's just taking care of everything in, in Southwest Florida as it relates to food. So we're delighted to have this wonderful chef here in the studio to talk to her. A bump there. Boom. Chef Michelle, it's so good to get you here in the studio. And um, we're going to be looking at some photos and everything about your layouts. But while that's happening, tell me what has been some of the response when people get a chance to eat your food and, and, and take part in your catering services. Well, I have, uh, I get great response. Um, if you ever see me in an event, I'm always walking around making sure that everybody's pleased with my services. I get a lot of rants and raves about my food. How does Just that the make way you? the quality and, you know, the way it tastes. How does that make you feel personally to get that kind of feedback? It makes me feel like I'm actually doing something, like I'm actually giving the people what they really want, what they've been searching for. Mm -hmm. so. What sparked your interest in cooking in the first place? My grandmother. My grandmother. She's passed, but Vera Green, she, she had a great passion for cooking, and she cooked everything from scratch. So that really, uh, just as far as quality, I really believe that things taste better when you put the time and effort and make them from scratch. So right. that's, that's so something I really do. So you encourage do. people to cook at home, even if they don't use you, but home-cooked food, because, uh, you know, we're now running out to this fast food stuff all the time. Yeah, I mean, there's high, you know, high level restaurants that do make things from scratch. But as far as the versus McDonald's or something like that, I do, I do recommend that people cook from home because of all the preservatives and the additives that they put in the food now. Right now, do we, uh, do you, do all types of catering jobs from the simple backyard party to I do. the big events? Go ahead and. Yes, I do. That. I do uh, personal dinners, like if someone wants to do a romantic dinner for their apartment, I do, do that. I do personal chef. I do uh, birthday parties. If you want to just order platters or uh, desserts, I do anything. There's no limit to uh, what kind of events I do. I do big uh, galas. Mm -hmm. You know, Great. I did AKA's Masquerade Ball last year. I do all sorts of events, but there's no limit to what I actually do. And we're going to be looking at Kiki Wyatt soon, but you got a chance to actually do the food for her dressing room at the listening party. Talk about how that was to have a chance to, to cook for Kiki Wyatt. Yes, it, it was. And look at some photos again, Rick. Go ahead. Yes, it was des definitely a blessing just to be there. Mm -hmm. It was definitely a blessing. What did you prepare for her? Um, uh, red velvet cupcakes and a... Uh, strawberry lemonade and a fruit platter okay now uh, uh what 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 does it take to make great food what do you put into that well i make sure i buy fresh product to start with i don't use msg i don't use anything that process like i said i am a from scratch chef so just the quality of the products and and just timing and making sure that things are prepared fresh. I don't pre-prepare cakes and stuff. I make cakes the same day that I'm going to serve it. So okay. every, all my food is fresh. All right, Diane, let me know if, if we're going to run that spot in this. Let me know if we're going to run the Chef and Shell spot. Let me know. Talk to Rick. Uh, the um, um, People can get in touch with you. We got your phone number and website on the screen. Uh, I mean, your phone number, your email address, but they can also hit you up on Facebook and get a chance to look at a lot of your stuff. Tell them how they find you on Facebook. Um, it's Shell Special Touch Catering on Facebook. The same thing as the name yes. right there. Uh, now, how do you go about pricing? How do people get an estimate from you? Talk about that. Well, a lot of times I do try to work with the uh, customer budget. If you tell me that you only have a certain amount and the amount of people that you have to serve, I will present you with a menu that I can do within those prices. So I do try to work with a customer's needs. You talk directly to me, you don't talk to an assistant or anything. I, I, I believe in giving personal service. Mm -hmm. yes. Now I'm biased because of course I've had you cater some Lika's <laughs> live events and because uh, I, I want to make sure it gets done right, so I make sure I use Chef, uh, Chef Michelle's or Michelle's Catering, Shell's Catering. Uh, and um, 
But what do you say sets you apart from other catering services? The personal service and the fact that I, I am, um, I do pay attention to detail and I do go beyond the call of duty. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I do try to make everything as professional and, you know, I come dressed um, and I, I try to make things just as professional as I possibly can. Right. So you can go to Gambit, you can whatever type of food they want, you can provide it, whether it's soul food, whether it's Chinese food, you want some Any chicken, you food. want some fish, go ahead and elaborate on it though. Well, um, I, I can cater any kind right. of meal, any and kind of food. Um, and desserts. Desserts, pastries, anything. You bake it all from scratch. All from scratch. That's great. <laughs> uh, let's, um, before we wrap this up, let's talk about uh, people who are interested in achieving what you've achieved, becoming an entrepreneur, having your own business. Let them know how the thought process is and how independent you feel being able to run your own company? Well, the first thing, it has, you have to be disciplined. Mm -hmm. You have to be disciplined. You can't get distracted. I set goals for myself, and I make sure that those goals are achieved. And, I mean, things happen in life to everybody, mm -hmm. but you can't let that discourage you. you got to keep going and press forward. And, you know, I have a great support group. I have um, my bishop, uh, Bishop Posley Watkins, and... Um, Dr. Linda Watkins, they're very big supporters and inspiration for me. They keep me grounded and focused in my family, all of my and family. Tell Hasi Watkins, it's time for him to come in here and sit down. <laughs> He's a good friend of mine on Leap His Live and his son as well. They, yes. they just great over there at uh, Jesus Christ Outreach Center. Yes. See, they're yes, plugging yes. you, Hasi Watkins. Yes. Uh, well, Shep Michelle, we wish you continued success. I know we're going to get you back in the future. And then next time you come in here in the studio, can you bring a brother some food? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. <laughs> I promise that. I will. <laughs> okay, we're going to see your commercial in the, in the next commercial break. Let's, uh, let's bump you out. All right, thanks. You're welcome. Again, as the saying goes on this particular show, for those who <laughs> say it can't be done, they're usually interrupted by those like the beautiful Shep Michelle and all the fine people who are associated with us who are doing it. Again, Jesus Christ Outreach Center. We'll be right back.